Take the ribbon from your hair Shake it loose and let it fall Blowing soft against your skin here well it's been a couple of days since I worked on this but um, I did some work yesterday and was gonna film and then all of a sudden a rainstorm blew up and it got really bad so I didn't have time to do it but you can see I've got some of the trusses up and I'm gonna show you here what I'm doing so uh, I better turn Dave Ramsey down probably some copyright thing there on that so anyway um, what I've done here is I've made a template and you can see I wrote on it, so I didn't spell it right, but I wrote on it so I would know not to use this one until the last one. So basically, the end, this end, is approximately 9 degrees. And that's because we have to, ang that has to angle down, so the board, it can't fit in straight, it has to be like this. So, um, so I've got that cut here, and then on this other end, it has a notch so that it'll set on our plate that we made across there um, which we're not done with that plate yet I'm gonna reinforce it some the old plate was a 2x4 single 2x4 I doubled it up but I'm also gonna put um, some plywood in with that and another piece of two before underneath of it so it's going to beef it up a little bit it really doesn't need to be i mean there's no weight basically on that roof other than the the, the metal down here which will have some weight and then of course if you get snow on it you know we don't get that much snow typically here but uh i can remember a few years ago we had like 24 inches one one night and a lot of carports and things like this in our area fell in because they just weren't uh, heavy duty enough to hold the weight so I don't want that to happen so so that's kind of why I I think the last time I talked to you guys uh, I was going to use the old 2x4s that they had put in here and I just felt like that wasn't strong enough so anyway I went with the 2x6 doubled up my plate over here so it's definitely built heavier than it was and uh, you know it has been there a long time prior to that so but anyway so what I'm going to do is lay this template up on here and then we'll mark it um, and we'll take a pencil if I can find one and we'll get it up here on the edge and we'll mark this and then we'll come up here up here make sure it's lined up and we'll mark that by using a template like this I mean I could use my um, my little uh, T-square thing here and cut each one of them at nine degrees and but the thing is is if I use a template I know it's fairly square so if I use a template then each one of them will be fairly close to the same but if I cut each one of them off the next one pretty soon the whole mark will get smaller and smaller and change because you're making a copy of a copy of a copy this way I'm making a copy of the original one that I fitted so I find that it works better that way so anyway okay I'm gonna get these cut um, and then uh, I'll get those hung now over here I wanted to kind of talk about we did put hangers up here you can see let me zoom in a little you see we I did a double two before across there since we went to a two by six and those are secured to the framing of the house so the two by fours that run up uh, and then there's one screw in the very top that I it got tight so I'm assuming it went into the plate which is at the top there so anyway so and then we've got those hangers up there and then also 
over here, uh, I don't know what happened to my camera here. I don't know what happened to the camera. I had to turn it off, turn it back on. But anyway, you can see here that I got, those are toenailed in on that plate up there. But they're also, I've got that hanger on there. So if there's any lift, like, you know, the wind lifts up, tries to lift that up, you know, we have it secured down here and it's tapped on into the concrete. And here, uh, if it tries to lift, it'll be against those metal hangers. So anyway. All right, show you more. Well, it's Rick here. Hey, uh, <clears throat> getting ready to head back over to the repo house and do some work there at 10th Street. But uh, I know you're always seeing Spot in here and, and everything, but uh, I don't know that I've ever introduced you to, to uh, Derek. So I'll show you Derek here. Now, Derek is standing in the seat. He refuses to sit down, but uh, and he's got his puppy with him. And I'm not sure what his his name is. We'll have to ask him if he's named him yet. But right now he's pouting. And of course, uh, I don't think that's uh, the way you're supposed to ride in the front seat of a van. But uh, right now he's uh, he's pouting. And so anyway, I digress. So uh, we were going to work on the uh, carport over there, but since it started raining. Uh, I think we'll work on installing some of the basement windows. So I'll show you more when we get there. Okay, well, let's try that again. Take the ribbon from your hair. Shake it loose, and let it fall. your skin like the shadows on the wall come and lay down by my side well as I said it's raining so I got the rest of those trusses put up right before lunch and I was going to do a video on how we're going to fill in here and then I want to put the bracing across, you know, we got to put some bracing across here because now the thing is all sturdy up and down inside this way, but it wants to, you know, it's, it's you can make it sway this way if you want to, so we've got to get our bracing put in, but I guess, uh, like I said a while ago, I guess we'll concentrate on putting some windows in this basement. Now, uh, I haven't been down in here and filmed anything since we did the clean out. And I want to thank all the people that watched that video. We had almost 2,000 people look at that video, so that's awesome. So we got this place all cleaned up. and But what we got to do is, through the years, these windows, this one's got a piece of plexiglass in it. Uh, and then you can see this window over here is boarded completely up. Uh, the frame is still in there. So I know it's kind of dark, you can't really see it, but uh, there's a frame still in there. So that's got to be cut out. And then this window is the same way. The frame is still in there, but they've run some screws and boarded it up. And then we got one over here too. The only one that still has the original window that's intact is this one here, but um, I bought windows, new vinyl replacement windows uh, for all of the windows down here so that they'll all be new. And then, uh, so with that said, what I'll try to do is uh, we'll start on one. Maybe we'll do this one here first and I'll, uh, I'll kind of uh, show you the process. All right, show you more. Take tomorrow. Yesterday is dead and gone And tomorrow's out of sight All I'm taking is your 
time Help me make it through night All right, let's see what we can do But that's okay, that's my job. So I'm gonna have to put all this back in here and secure this back up. And we'll work on this in the morning. Let me get the drill here. Get some of these screws back in here. Show you more.
Run, Tallulah, run. Hi, baby. 